At this time, we'd like to call to order the May 11, 2011 Zoning Commission meeting. Uh, this time, we'll go ahead and vote on the acceptance of the May 11, 2011 proposed agenda. So moved. I have a motion by Bob Nance to accept. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Dan Sadley. Is there any opposition or discussion? Motion passes. Item three, roll call the members. Let the record show all commissioners are present with the exception of Mr. Julio Dumas. Item four, public comment period. Any, any, uh, anyone wishing to come up and address the commission at this time, please sign in with the secretary and you'll get you three minutes to speak. No one wishing to speak, public comment period is closed. Item five, acceptance of the minutes of the April 13th, 2011 Zoning Commission meeting. Mr. Chairman. Sadly. Uh, I have a few corrections to these, uh, these minutes as well. On page two, two corrections, where it says, Mr. Al Robert also thanked the commission for their handwork. I would assume that means for their hard work. Um, and then later when Mr. Roy Domain speaks, um, the third to last sentence, he asked the commission to defer this item until they feel that majority of the parish is satisfied. You can't read that the majority of the parish is satisfied. So I'm going to insert the word the before majority. On page three, first correction, again, Mr. Domain speaks, um, where it says, um, the developer considers the cost of material, dirt, and how much can done must mean can be done in a particular project. Also on that same page, this one reflects myself, Mr. Compton, informed the Mr. Sadley. While I appreciate the title, like the Ohio State University, <laughs> I think the V should be stricken from the record. Mr. Sadley would be sufficient. The deadlines for this item are as followed. Shouldn't that read follows? Instead of followed. Um, a final correction on page three. This item will be on the May 11th, 2011 agenda. At that time, instead of the commissions, the commissioners, commissions to commissioners, were presented with all the supporting material, et cetera. That's it, Mr. Chairman. Okay. <coughs> Patrice, did you did you catch all the, the corrections that he, he brought? Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I prefer the move to accept the uh, the minutes of the April 13th, uh, 2011 zoning meeting with the corrections I so outlined. Okay, I have a motion to approve the uh, minutes with the corrections by Commissioner Sadley, seconded by Commissioner Kluot. The opposition or discussion? Motion passes. Item six, public hearing to amend the Ascension Parish Development Code for recommendation to the, for approval or denial to the Ascension Parish Council. Zoning Review ID 2157.11, St. Joseph School for Ascension Parish. Ms. Band, a quick question. Uh, we're talking about amend the Ascension Parish Development Code. Shouldn't that be the Ascension Parish Development or Ascension Parish Zoning Map? Yes. It says that. Okay. It's, it's, it does. It's yeah. guided on the. It's guided as the code, on the agenda, look not the as the map. Look at no. the part A. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. All right. Well, I was pointing out what they have up here, the bold print. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, uh, as far as Ascension Parish, so Ascension Parish, you ready to go ahead and present? Yes, uh, to amend the Ascension Parish uh, zoning map to remove the historical site, uh, St. Joseph's School, to t due to the site being removed from the National Register of Historical Places. Uh, it's based on the LDC uh, defining uh, historical site which is a historical site is defined as a district structure building or site which is listed on the national site register of historical places and not classified as destroyed. Uh, the St. Joseph School has been taken off the uh, 
the national uh, site register uh, based on a letter that we received that th that's in your packet. Uh, so based on that, um, this is coming before the com commission, the zoning commission, uh, to take that <coughs> site off the uh, zoning map. Comments or questions from com commissioners at this time? Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Dalton. Uh, just in generalities, having read the consent decree, the judge has directed that we initiate the process of removing the historical overlay zone for this tract of land. <clears throat> and I can see where a judge would be within his authority to order us to start the process to consider removing, but <clears throat> it would appear that the way this is worded, that he's actually trying to tell us how to vote on this issue, and I, I, I think I take exception to that, because I can see us being ordered to review this. The other part of it is, <clears throat> having read the rest of this stuff, uh, I find that this has some local importance that is noteworthy in the history, most specifically, uh, that it also deals with minority education. And while it might not meet the exact criteria because of other things been done to the property to remain on the historical register, I can see where it might be important to the history of Ascension Parish. And I think we should take that into consideration tonight as well. Thanks. Thank you. Do you have comments or questions from commissioners? Uh, yeah, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Sadley. I, I would like to, I, I don't totally agree with Mr. Dalton's comment about what the judge had in mind or not. Uh, obviously, none of us can get in, in, in the man's mind. But I would just like to enter, first of all, on the record that what is the definition of an historic site? It's defined as a district structure building or site which is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. <coughs> And since clearly from our packet information, St. Joseph's School is no longer listed on the National Register of Historic Places, that's all these other comments to me sort of become moot. And I think we are being not only directed by the judiciary, but I think by good conscience that that's what needs to be done. Unless I hear arguments strong otherwise tonight, I'm going to be likely supporting um, uh, an, uh, offering a motion to, uh, to actually amend the Ascension Parish zoning map to remove. St. Joseph's from the historic site. Mr. Chairman, if I might. Uh, um, part of what you say is true, but I think what's happened here is a, 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 a piece of structure that had historical significance was moved, and then, for whatever reasons, things were done to it in such a manner that made it no longer fit to meet the criteria of said historical site. So now, the property's been manipulated where it comes off the National Register and it goes away. My point. Mr. Chairman, may I respond to that? With, with all due respect to Mr. Dalton's comment, I don't believe it's anywhere in our purview to make a decision on what should be on or shouldn't be off. This is a decision made, you know, at a, at a national level well outside of our hands, and that decision has been made. I don't know anything about manipulation, but I do know I can read the definition very clearly, and I can see the fact that um, <coughs> this particular school is no longer on the National Registry of Historic Places. Well, I agree we have a catch Gentlemen, excuse me. No, we're not going to keep this. Y'all not going to keep batting this back and forth. This is not a tennis match. Okay? I, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, this is pretty clear. We have an ordinance in place. There's a definition with the ordinance. The public has been screaming and hollering at us, follow, sh follow your own rules. Okay? It's up to the property owner to maintain the historical character, anything historical with the property. That's not what we're here to discuss tonight, what they're going to do with it. It's not to discuss what they have done with it or why it got pulled from the register. We've got a letter in front of us saying it's been pulled from the National Register. That's all the ordinance says as far as the criteria for a historical site overlay. It has to be on the National Register and not classified as destroyed. That's it. That's all. That's the only criteria that this parish ever set for a historical site overlay. So, I, I don't want to. I'd like to stick to the point of what we're supposed to be discussing What's here tonight, and and uh, and, and just stop this. So, 
comments or questions from commissioners? If not, I'm going to open up the public hearing. But I'm also going to ask the public, stick to the point. I don't want to hear about any personal gripes, any issues. Stick to the issue that we're here to discuss. So this time I want to open up the public hearing. Anyone wishing to come up and address the commission, sign in with the secretary, and you'll get you three minutes to speak. Mr. Pendarvis. How you doing? How you doing? I'm a, can I have her three minutes? No, sir. It's not permissible? No, sir. Okay, well, I'm going to try to conde condense it as quickly as I can. All right. Not about gripes, not about public register and everything. When, when this ordinance was created, and I was, I was very vocal that I was against it, when the ordinance was created, the St. Joe School site was not affected. The ordinance got amended to where it was affected. All these things that, are, that were reported to the National Register to get this thing removed were all things that done against this commission or this council or the council of the parish that you can't, this site is now protected. Through their own admittance, they did the whole things to take it off the deal going against your rules and regulations. So if we're going to talk about rules and regulations. And I think what this man says, it, what you should consider is maybe tabling this for now and create an ordinance. You know, this, this is a, a black school, first black Catholic school in the United States, whatever, is very historical value for this parish. If, even though you may, you may look at an ordinance that, that your ordinance is not fitting now, that you create an ordinance, something of this magnitude and this character that's been manipulated, should, or, or not manipulated, should be protected whether it's on the National Register or it's not on the National Register, that it could be an overlay through a parish overlay. If, if you remember, and I was very vocal, that this ordinance was created directly against me. These, when you use the colors of the law to benefit, or the, or the, the colors of the parish, or the sheriff's office, or the council, whatever, to create something to, to increase your value and decrease somebody else's value, and then you buy the value because it's diminished, and then all of a sudden you say, I don't want this regulation on the property no more. And we all know who created ordinance, and you know, all know who benefited from it. Thank you. You may think real hard about creating a new ordinance, tabling this, sit on it a while, look at it, the legal aspect, and create an ordinance to protect this site. We said it was a site. Everybody voted it was a site. It, it, it hindered all the property and diminished the property values around it. I myself personally was cost me $80,000 when energy expropriated property from me because they said, this ordinance is going to affect your property. It's not worth as much anymore. And one deal, 80 grand. The state of Louisiana says my corner was equal to 73 and 74. The 73 and 74 corner sold for almost three quarters of a million dollars. But because we were restricted by the ordinance that y'all put, I sold the corner for a mere 250. 30 seconds. And now you want to take that ordinance off and make it worth value more. Y'all sleep with yourself when you go to bed at night. Thank you. Anyone else sign up? Mr. Compton? Yes, sir. Good evening, no. Commission. This is not a routine zoning review. The court ordered this zoning commission to place this item on your agenda. Section 17181 in our code defines an historic site, quote, as a district, structure, building, or site which is listed on the National Register of Historic Places and not classified as destroyed. St. Joseph's was listed on the National Register in 1988. The National Park Service delisted it on June 9, 2010. June 9, 2010. Both the parish president and the parish council received notice of this removal in a letter from the state of Louisiana dated June 21st, 2010. Why did President Martinez and the council fail to act on this notification? There's only one document relevant to the decision before you tonight, the March 22nd consent decree of Judge Alvin Turner. Quote, it is further ordered, adjudged, and decreed that since the St. Joseph School has been removed from the National Historic Register, and since the parish has received notice of such removal, the Ascension Parish Zoning Commission shall initiate the process of removal. 
removing the historic overlay zone surrounding the building from the parish's official zoning map at the next available commission meeting where there is sufficient time to satisfy all required notice periods, end of quote. The public hearing tonight is not applicant initiated but court ordered. It was only noticed twice in the Journal of Record, the Gonzales Weekly Citizen on April 29th and May 6th. However, at last month's meeting of April 13th, Ms. Manda said she knew the public might be confused, stating, quote, for zoning matters, we have to advertise, I think, three times in the paper so we could have met, could not have met the deadline. The judge made this order on March 22nd. On March 23rd, the planning staff had three weeks to notice the hearing for your April 13th meeting, but failed to do so. Why is the administration and planning staff dragging their feet to <coughs> delay the removal of this overlay zone? They're prolonging the process to keep Mr. Robert from using and improving his property by holding all building permits in limbo until the council removes this historical overlay. This is a travesty. He has made every effort to comply with all requests of the planning staff to rectify the situation. The administration is attempting to discredit Mr. Robert, who has voiced concerns about the council's policies. 30 seconds. Okay. Master plans high density and is considering a run for parish president. The irrelevant documentation has confused Judge Turner's clear order to remove the St. Joseph School historical overlay because the building is no longer on the National Register. I request that these comments and documentation be placed in the public record in meeting minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Teresa Robert, and I'd just like to make one comment basically uh, since the Commissioner earlier talked about it. There were a number of additional buildings that were added to that site well before the historic overlay was in place. Yes, there were a couple after that, but well before that and, uh, and after it was on, put on the school site. Uh, Mr. Robert, my husband, has moved many buildings in this parish and saved many. We've spent our lives doing that. And uh, instead of uh, people being antagonistic, it's very sad because that school will be protected as long as we live. Uh, the other thing is, uh, yeah, I participated also when they were trying to do the overlay. And we didn't particularly really want the cabin on there, but the parish commissioner's legal attorney said it had to have one a classification that had to fit. And she is the one, Ms. Jessie LeVon was actually there, and she is the one that said it had to be on the National Register. And that's why the, ca the cabin one had to have been added, because the building itself doesn't have any architectural um, um, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm having a blank moment here, but that's not why it was put on there. It was put on there just because of the history, which we will put. But just wanted to let you know that, again, the definition does say National Register, and it's removed. So legally, that is, is what your job is. Thank you. Anyone else sign it, Mr. Compton? All right. Then the public comment period on this is closed. Mr. Kluwat. <laughs> Ms. Manda, the judge... What, what this commission has to do is what the judge has ordered us to do. Am I right or wrong? Correct. Right. In other words, if we don't do what he ordered us to do, we're then we're at fault. We're contempt, contempt or whatever you want to call it. Well, yes, and he advised you to, or ordered you to initiate the process of removal. Uh, I, I would like to say I think there is some merit to what Commissioner Dalton said. I don't think an upstanding member of the judiciary is trying to tell a member, the council, the legislative branch, how they should vote, but he did order you all to initiate the process and get that to them. So that's what, what your duty is tonight. So in other words, really, truly, about order of the court, we don't have any decision but to do what the man said. Of course. I mean. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Any other comments or questions from commissioners? What's the wish of the commission? Mr. Chairman, Mr. Sadley, I move that um, I move to amend the Ascension Parish zoning map to remove an historic site designation <coughs> to St. Joseph School. Recommend to the council. Correct. Sorry. And I second that motion. Okay. Would you please restate your motion, Mr. Sadley? I recommend to the parish council that um, I, I move that we recommend to the parish council that we amend the parish. Ascension Parish zoning map to remove the historical site designation for St. Joseph School. I have a motion to recommend approval to the Parish Council.
to amend the parish zoning map to remove the uh, St. Joseph School historical site overlay by Commissioner Daniel Sadley, seconded by Commissioner Milton Kluot. Discussion? If there's no discussion, then this time we'll vote. Mr. Well, Dalton? Yes. Yes. Mr. Barrow? Yes. Mr. Kluot? Yes. Mr. Sadley? Yes. Mr. Esnard? Yes. Ms. Arazua Gradine? Yes. Motion passes. Item seven, new business. Any items of new business commissioners would like to bring forth to the group? Uh, Mr. Chairman? Mr. Sadler? I don't know if this is actually new or old business. It depends on how you, your perspective would be, but uh, I'd like to set the record straight, and I realize we're not here, and I appreciate you, you pre preventing the banter previously between myself and, and Mr. Dalton, um, and I don't want to whip an old horse to dead, death. But um, immediately after the meeting last time, I was the one that wondered why that we didn't even handle what we just did at the last meeting and questioned what was going on. And my, my questions were, were I, I thought, very innocent um, as to asking about why it wasn't put on our agenda. And I want to reiterate something that was just said from the public. And this is a quote uh, directly in response to Mr. Dalton's uh, question to legal counsel asking Ms. Manda, quote, as our learned attorney, are we in violation of any court order in a meaningful way? She answered, we're not. And could you then elaborate on your opinion? And she said, and I quote, mm, the proposed removal of the site is a zoning matter, quote, unquote. And for zoning matters, quote, unquote, we have to advertise, I think, three times in a paper so we could not have met the deadline. Um, I'd like the record to show that um, this matter that we just voted on was noticed in the Weekly Citizen, I believe, twice once on the 29th of April, and again on Friday, May the 6th, not three times. And I'd like to further state that, you know, in an interest of trying to find out, since I was told, since I was new to this, this commission, I didn't understand that three advertisement rule. I visited with Ms. James, present at the meeting also was Ms. Mander and, and Mr. Compton, and specifically asked that the ordinance that says it has to be advertised three times be sent to me. Mr. Chairman, I'm still waiting to see that information, so I can only conclude since we just went ahead and legally acted upon a matter with two advertisements, as has been the case for the full six months now I've sat on the commission, and since I haven't received anything to the contrary, I'm, I'm concerned that are we getting information back that's 100% uh, accurate um, in, in, in trying to conduct the uh, public's business in a timely manner. Thank you for hearing me. Thank you. The other items of new business commissioners would have uh, brought before the no. All right. We have no items of unfinished business. Uh, number eight, number nine, zoning subcommittee report. Mr. Nance. Uh, we had two major topics at our last meeting. One was the uh, discussion on the possibility of removing the PUD overlay in uh, districts two and three. Uh, and that was for discussion only. We, we will, uh, it will be on our agenda uh, for action. Uh, at the next uh, subcommittee meeting. Uh, the other topic, uh, Mr. Mike Eads uh, from Economic Development was there and we dis uh, discussed the uh, definitions of uh, that we think need to be made uh, for light, medium, and heavy industrial. Uh, and it was the recommendation of the committee that we uh, D uh, don't do this piecemeal. We want to do the, the definitions and the tables at the same time, uh, and that's where we are right now. Uh, we're, we're, I don't know who, exactly who's going to be working on these tables. I personally don't have time to work on them, uh, and I, I would imagine there are other communities that have these tables, and if uh, Mr. Compton uh, would get with me and our Mr. Eads uh, to work on these tables, it would be uh, real helpful. Our Lance, uh, whoever feels comfortable with doing that. Uh, so we, we, I, I feel like we need to do something on that, but I think it, rather than doing it piecemeal by just doing the definitions and coming back later with the uh, tables, I, I think we're uh, in uh, inviting problems. So I'd like to. Uh, get everybody on the same page and let's get everything ready to go at the same time on the uh, 
uh, industrial, the new industrial uh, definitions along with the tables and that way when we send it to the council they'll have a package deal that they can look at and will make good sense. Uh, and I, I, I personally think and our committee also thought that this would be the best way to um, go. And that was our next meeting will be at 6 p.m. following the uh, subdivision uh, ordinance subcommittee. Thank you. Uh, item 10, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Mr. Oh, excuse Chairman, me. Hello. Ms. I wanted to answer uh, Mr. Satterley's request. Uh, in his book, under the Unified Land Development Code for the Parish of Ascension, page 113, section D, Public Notice Requirements, uh, paragraph 7, it says in the case of a proposed appeal under sections, well, no, sorry, excuse me, under uh, section 8, newspaper publication, at least 10 days ad in advance of the hearing, the zoning official shall provide notice of the time and place of the hearing, which shall be published at least three times in the official journal of the parish. Now, when it says three times, it doesn't mean three weeks. There is a weekend edition also for the newspapers. It just has to be in the paper three times, not three weeks in a row. But it's on page, it's in your book that you, I think you all have a copy of this uh, book and it's uh, in your rules and regulations. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. A motion by Commissioner Kluat to adjourn, seconded by Commissioner Nance. Any objection or discussion? Motion passes. We're adjourned. <laughs>